out a CBS 4 News consumer alert. If you let your passport lapse during the pandemic, be patient. Renewal will take some time. The State Department is playing catch up with the backlog and scammers are trying to cash in. CBS 4's Anthony Pura has the details from Los Angeles. Denise Gruenberg submitted her passport renewal application May 1st. And I'm still waiting. The nursing supervisor booked a Caribbean vacation with her family for July 30th, but she might not be able to get there. The State Department is trying to dig out from under a backlog of as many as 2 million passport applications. For the last six months, I have been trying to get my passport renewed. I have been calling, texting, emailing, carrier pigeon, bat signaling, you name it. Lines like this one in New York City are popping up at understaffed passport offices. The State Department says it's trying to ramp up operations to pre-pandemic levels, but it takes time. The pandemic disruptions continue to have a ripple effect on all steps of the passport process. Current processing time is 12 to 18 weeks, which means passport applicants might have to keep their feet on the ground until the fall. Officials say they're also aware of vendors fraudulently selling passport appointments online. They're selling multiple appointments to people for thousands and thousands of dollars on a website that's supposed to be helping uh, each other. It's disgusting. The department says an extremely limited number of passport appointments are available for those with urgent travel needs. Upcoming leisure travel might require alternate plans. Anthony Pura, CBS News, Los Angeles. I don't know.